So you've got a few five-star potential teenagers in your team in Football Manager, and you need them to develop to be able to win you that elusive Champions League. Or maybe you're just playing in Bosnia's 7th division and you just want to get promoted. The thing is, you don't know how to develop them. So today I'm going to take you through a step-by-step -step guide on how to get these wonder kids to their potential ability. From the ages of 15 to 17, training is the most effective way to develop a player. Now this doesn't mean you have to take full control of the training, you can leave it up to your assistant manager, that's what I do, and I get some pretty decent results. However, it is important to take control of individual training for young players. Ideally, you know what role you want your young player to play in. For example, most of you guys will use advanced forwards and pressing forwards as opposed to a false nine or a trek Batista. Now, let's take young James Crosby here who came through my youth intake in my Lincoln City save over on Twitch. If you want to ask me any questions about developing Wonder Kids, you can do so on my live streams, link down in the description to the Twitch channel. Now, he is a young right winger, so if we click on this right wing position, it then highlights all the attributes that are important to being a winger. Looking through it, for me, his mental attributes are a little bit on the low side. However, players develop different attributes quicker at different ages. The physicals, these develop the quickest in very young players, such as James Crosby at 16 years old. The technicals are then the next ones to sort of improve as they get a bit older, and it's not until they're much older that mental attributes really start to improve. Now obviously, if your young players have terrible mentals but good physicals and technicals, it doesn't mean you can't focus on training up the mentals, it just will come quicker later on in his career. So to ensure he is being trained optimally, we're going to go to development and training and make sure he's being trained as a winger. Not this attack you feel the right playing position that's a bit of a waste of time make sure you click on it go to the right wing and then click winger on attack this way there's no wasted time in training he's being trained in the optimal manner we can then do some additional focus on his training as well to ensure some of the areas that are lacking a little bit are going to be improved to do that we go into this additional focus tab down here and we could put him on strength to improve his strength and jumping reach because both of those are pretty low but i'm not expecting him to win many headers in the air instead his technique is pretty low and so does dribbling really Really on the technical side of things so under ball control first touch dribbling and technique that looks good to me click that and he's being trained extra on those so remember training is the most effective thing to do when players are about 15 to 17 years old keep them in your youth teams playing youth team football make sure you've got a few decent coaches for the youth team as well and they will develop just fine once players hit 18 years old though matches are going to be way more effective however they need to be playing well in matches if they're constantly getting a 6.2 it means means they're playing badly and if they're playing badly it means they're not developing and this is why having a really good under 18 under 23 or b team can be really effective if they can win most of their games it means they're doing something right and it means that most players in the team are going to get some very good match ratings if the players are getting above a seven that's absolutely fantastic that's what you want to see however if they're constantly getting eights at the under 18 level you might want to move them up to the under 23s to give them a bit more of a challenge if players aren't being challenged enough at the right level they're also not going to develop so it's quite a fine balance you've got to reach and actually there are a lot of really good players still playing youth team football for example you can find international youth teams on the one football app which you can download for free from the top line of the description which helps me and the channel out i like to look through these youth teams to find out who's in them and who's playing well because it's a pretty good indicator if they're in these youth international teams that they're going to be some pretty decent wonder kids in real life and more importantly in football manager. Think of it this way, Erling Haaland is 22 and is arguably the best striker in the world. If Mould had just let him stay in the under-19 squad there until he was 19, there is no way he would be the striker that he is today. His goals to game ratio is ridiculous, by the way. And so at a certain point, your youth teams are going to become a bit of a restriction for the better players in them. Now, this could be because the player is just far too good for your youth teams, or maybe you're playing in the lower leagues of football and you don't have enough money to beef up that under-21 team enough. Therefore, they can't win games and the players aren't getting good enough match ratings. But of course, those young players might not yet be good enough for your first team and you don't want to waste them. This is where loans become a really good idea. Do not, and I repeat, do not just send your young players out to any club that puts a bid in for them. You need to put some time and effort into this, so let me talk you through my process. First of all, I look at the coach report to find out what level they're playing at, and currently at the start of this Lincoln City save, Freddie Draper is good enough for the National League. Now, generally my youth players are on pretty low wages, so I'm not too fussed about the club we're sending out on loan to paying his wages. I don't mind doing it. But it doesn't hurt to just put this 
to 100% every now and again and see if any clubs actually want to offer that sort of money. Next is this agreed playing time. And I always put it to regular starter and lock it in. That means there can be no negotiation on the agreed playing time. However, often this means that clubs just decide they don't want to bid for your player. So sometimes if that doesn't work in the first instance, I will unlock that to make sure it is negotiable and then offer the player out to clubs. When the bids come in, remember, we're looking for some really good match ratings. Logic might dictate that if a club from a league higher than the player's current ability wants them as a regular starter, it's a no-brainer to send them there. However, in this instance, Freddie Draper is a National League level player and teams from League 2 want him. To me, that suggests that these clubs are struggling. And yes, you might play a lot of games for them, but they're not going to play very well. But that isn't always the case, so it is important to check the pre-season previews or if you send them out on loan mid-season to look at the actual league table to find out where they are. It's also a good idea to have a look at the club's training facilities as well. Ideally, the ultimate goal is to send someone to a club who is meant to do pretty well in the league and have great training facilities because they will develop better at better facilities. And speaking of training facilities, let's actually focus on training again. Hopefully by this point, you've been training your player in the correct position and adjusting those additional focuses to ensure you're working on their weaknesses in their game. By the time they're 19, 20 years old, they should be pretty well formed as a player and you can spot some glaring weaknesses in their game. For example, I've got a striker here called Juan Diego Largo. He's 21 years old and he's a striker. He's got fantastic dribbling, first touch, technique and composure. It's just finishing is pretty poor. This is where we might want to think about adding a player trait to him to try and build on that weakness. If we go back to development and training, here you can see a discuss new trait button. He has three existing traits right now, but we're actually trained into him before we bought him into the club. But I'm not a huge fan of them, so I might try and take some off at some point. Now, because Juan Diego Lago's got really good dribbling, first touch and technique, I think a better way for him to mask that poor finishing is to take the ball around the keeper. So that's exactly what we're going to ask our attacking coach here to do it go around the keeper when one on one. I agree with that approach, he'll start work on that immediately. Generally, I liken player traits to a sort of a finishing school for footballers to try and mask their weaknesses. Now, training a trait will take away from a player's actual training time. So I wouldn't do this to your 15 or 16 year olds. I'd wait until they are 20, 21, 22 to start implementing trait training. But of course, you can judge this on a player by player basis. Some players will be ready for it at the time they're 17 years old because they are so good already. But as the players get a little bit older again, maybe 20, 21, then maybe ready to be part of your first team. Now this isn't a hard and fast rule because of course players develop at different rates so take it on a player by player basis but on average this is probably the right age. At this stage these young players are now training with your first team and mentoring can become a really powerful tool. Perhaps you have a 30 year old player with a model citizen personality. He would be a perfect mentor for your young players. This is because mentoring allows these older players to pass on their mental attributes and hidden attributes to the younger players and hidden attributes can be really important in reaching players player potentials. Football Manager has a bunch of attributes you can see, such as the technicals, mentals and physicals. But it's also got a bunch of attributes that are hidden that you can't see, which help make up a player's DNA. These are things such as professionalism and consistency, where the higher the score, the better that player is going to be in training and in matches. You can't see these attributes, but the game does give you a good clue about them. Let's take Dion Drenabellu here as an example, click on reports and go to coach report. Here you can see he's got very high consistency, as the coach report calls him a very consistent performer. His personality is also professional, which means he's got a very high level of professionalism. Therefore, he'd be a pretty good tutor for some of our younger strikers. So let's head over to the mentoring page, click on the training icon and go to mentoring. Now what you can do is just ask your assistant to assign young players and mentors together and this works quite well but sometimes you might want to make things a little bit more specific. You can see that he has assigned Dion as a mentor to Juan Diego Largo and Kiba Dayanye, two young players in my team. You can see that Dion has a significant influence on the group and the youngsters get an average effect from his influence. Over time, Dion will have an effect on these young players and that will hopefully boost their mental attributes and their hidden attributes. Now at this stage, we're talking about players who are 21 and above and some players are just going to be late bloomers and I've got some evidence for this. A while ago, I did an experiment where I created two players with rubbish current abilities, but with maximum potential abilities. One of them played loads of games at a high level at a very young age. So by the time they were in their early 20s, they had reached their potential ability. The other player barely played any games at all. So by his early 20s, he was nowhere near his potential ability. He didn't start playing frequently until his mid 20s, really. So he was quite behind in development. But by the time he got to his late 20s, 
he still managed to get to nearly his potential ability. So it does show that some players are just late developers and players can develop pretty well even into their mid to late 20s. So if a player isn't quite ready at this age just yet, the loan method is still a really good option for you. For example, this is Clement Pennon. He's a striker in my team. He's got some fantastic technical abilities such as 16 finishing and 14 composure, but he just can't seem to do it in the Premier League. If we look at his history and his stats, he just doesn't do anything for us. He scored, what, three goals in 31 appearances in the Premier League for us? It's rubbish. But in the Championship, he's actually pretty decent. So I'm just going to assume he's a late bloomer and needs more time in the Championship to get that match experience. There's also Mohamed Heydari, a centre mid who's 21 years old. For me, he had some decent games, but just isn't ready for the Premier League just yet. His current ability, according to our coaches, is League One but he's definitely got Premier League potential ability in there. And he definitely has that because this past season, we sent him out to Estoril in Portugal, where he got nine assists and five goals in the league, where they went on to come third and secure Champions League football. So clearly he can play at a good level. He just needs time to develop a little bit more at different clubs. Now we started off this video talking about players from 15 years old. And obviously some of these players you're not going to have from 15 years old. It's much more likely you're going to buy them in from other clubs, which is fine. Stick to the principle of this video and these players will still develop brilliantly for you. But sometimes you might want to have those players from 15 years old and to do that you're going to have to have an incredible youth intake. Luckily for you I've done a video all about that recently and that is on screen for you right now to go and watch to make sure you get a fantastic youth intake.